every one of them had the requirement of showing godly character. So there's nothing wrong with saying, well, I've got the gift of helps, but I really would like to have the gift of something else. Well, you just keep functioning in the gift of helps, and God knows your heart, and who knows, he may give you that other one too. But he's not going to give us anything if we're not faithful with what we already have. Now why does all that matter? Because we live in a world today where cultural church is over. The contrast between the cultural church and the biblical church is going to become so stark, starkly different that we're not going to be able to blow them anymore. Not going to be able to blur the lines anymore. And I don't know about you. I want to be in the biblical church. Because there's no future in culture. So if we're going to do that, we have to start doing what God has gifted us to do. And age is no factor in this. Because God's got something for you to do regardless of your age. It may not be the same thing you did 20 years ago or 30 years ago, but it's what he wants you to do now. Like, Calling me to be at this church. 20 years ago, if you had said that to me, I said, mm. But then God gave me that gift and moved me in this direction. But He only gave me that gift because I was thankful with the gift of teaching. Now, if I hadn't been faithful with what He had already given me, I wouldn't be here today. I'd probably be flipping birds. The same is true for all of us. Whatever God's given you to do, do. You may say, well, all I can do is pray. Well, my goodness, that's one of the most important things you can do. Pray it in. Pray, get up in the heavens and pull down your Bible. We need it. It only comes by prayer. But whatever you do, self-transformation involves more than just thinking happy thoughts and telling yourself you're wonderful. Yeah. That's my counselor side so coming out. So I don't want <laughs> Don't play this happy thought. Get in the game. Play like you want to do. Find your part to play. I mean, we can't be like Bo Nix and Daniel the Pro. They weren't cheering enough. That has nothing to do with them. One 
saw the people of purchase and need. Yeah. And to be the kind of people when folks are hungry for God will say, Ooh, I'm going to go over there. Yeah. Like Brother Smith said, they called his friends because they knew they were people who prayed to kill us. Mm -hmm. I want us to be known as people who know what to do. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you for today. Thank you, Lord, for those who came. And Lord, I pray you blessed on each one. Pray you blessed on the food that we're about to think of. And I pray, Father, that you bless our time of fellowship together. And Lord, may we not walk out of here and just forget all this. Lord, help us to see that American Christianity doesn't work. That you've called us to something much greater. And you've called us to something that not only impacts this life, but impacts the next. That we are a people of destiny, but it's not some kind of destiny based in self-esteem. It's destiny based in your redemptive plan. And that you gifted us for this point in history to do something in advancing your kingdom. So Lord, help us to discover what that is. And Father, I pray today that um, as we opened up, praying for people who desire to have their prayer language I pray, Father, if there's someone here today who didn't respond, that they'll get it before they get home. Lord, help us to see this isn't something that we can or just to play around with. We can take it if we want it, leave it if we don't. But this is something you gave us as a gift to help us get through hard times and to help us have access to your mind and to your power. So, Lord, help us. Thank you for these people. Father, I thank you for them. I, I so appreciate them. And I pray that you'll bless them in uh, Jesus' name. Amen. Please stay and eat with us. If you don't know where the fellowship hall is, just go down the hallway, follow the hallway around, and take a look. We love you too. Bless you.